All right, folks, unboxing video time. So this is another CPU cooler from Thermal Right. This will make uh, probably CPU cooler number seven, eight for these guys. Uh, this one's ARGB. Uh, this is the Assassin X 120 RSE. You can see from the picture four heat pipes on it. Only 148 millimeters high. I got it because I need it for LGA 1700, but uh, you can see it fits these other ones, plus AM4, AM5. Uh, most likely, I will only do an installation video for 1700. Now, this is the unboxing video, uh, and so we won't be doing that in this video, but uh, let's see what else is on here. See if it mentions a TDP in it anywhere. There's some information on the side. So if you want overall dimensions, the weight, noise level, less than 25.6 decibels. Airflow, 66.17 cubic feet per minute max. All right, let's get this open. Um... All right, so this one is ARGB. I think this will be the first one from Thermalrite that I've gotten. Instruction manual. A little different than the, uh, some of the other ones, I think, or not. It's the same. English side, folks. So you can see the parts list. Looks like the standard stuff. You've got a... Uh, the heat sink, fan, base plate, a bunch of different sizes of uh, spacers. And looks like they actually include a possibility of having an extra fan, maybe. Uh, thermal paste will be included. And you can usually get a couple uh, sets out of that. But uh, for this video, we're going to use LGA 1700. Um, and then you can see that for the wiring. Now I will uh, just use one fan. All right, so what do we have? Almost rip that open from the back side. Two base plates in here. Interesting, so I bought a bunch of thermal rights. You guys may have noticed the unboxing videos. They've either put one in there or uh, one that adjusts. Now it appear, honestly, looking at all these, that uh, the adjustable one would work in this place. And you can see from the size of these uh, that the 1200 spacing is, is lower. But, yeah, we need this one. Don't necessarily need that one. Um, thermal paste looks like TF7, TF4. So, we've gotten a couple of those. Let's see. I get out of here, fan brackets. They've included two of those. The, uh brackets that go to help mount it and then they put these all so you have the different spacers AM4, AM5, 1200, 1151 and then 1700 and then four screws there so like I said I'm going to put all this away all right so let's get the uh, fan out. 1550 RPM. So you could use this fan with one of the other kits that I bought um, if you wanted to. And there is a uh, four pin and the ARGB. Now, this CPU cooler compared to the other ones won't be as good because. It's only got the four uh, heat sinks. 
or excuse me, the, the four copper pipes uh, where the uh, six, the one that has six definitely appears to transfer heat better than uh, the other four that I have or five. So, um, you know, solidly built. No doubt about that. Very similar to the other ones that I have. So I bought I bought a six, a five, and now I have the four, um, as well as the ninety two. I've got uh, a dual hundred and twenty, dual tower. Then I've got one that's got a hundred and forty and a, a one twenty in it, dual tower. So um, thermal right, not a bad brand. You know, I was pushing uh, the V True V five for a little while there, but that thing. Honestly, compared to what's out nowadays, is is I don't want to say garbage, but it might as well be garbage compared to a couple of thermal rights that I've, I've bought for uh, less. Uh, and the dual tower, dual fan is is the same price, so uh, within two two dollars basically. But uh, yeah, so I'll do an installation video, folks, and you can check that out. Uh, then we'll run some benchmarks. I'm actually using an i5 13600KF just to see if it will uh, keep these things cool in the benchmarks. And then, of course, we'll do a gaming video as well. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.